At Numerian Capital, we bring you the latest stock news each day. Please like and subscribe so we can bring these articles to you each day. Thank you. Today, November 17, 2022, Mullen stock pops 4% on ELMS funding news. Mullen just acquired $150 million in funding. Mullen Automotive stock is rising as the company secures funding for an asset purchase. This will see Mullen gain a factory and supporting assets for the manufacturing of electric vehicles. The funding will also help Mullen bring its EVs to market. Mullen Automotive, NASDAQ MULN, stock is on the move Thursday following news of the electric vehicle company acquiring $150 million in funding for its purchase of electric last mile solutions assets. ELMS holds several assets that Mullen plans to use for the production of its EVs. These include the company's factory in Indiana, which is capable of churning out 50,000 vehicles per year. In addition to that, Mullen is acquiring all intellectual property belonging to ELMS. With that comes data for the manufacturing of Class 1 van and Class 3 cab chassis. The company's inventory, which is made up of finished and unfinished vehicles, is also part of the asset purchase. Finally, the asset purchase also includes systems that support the manufacturing of vehicles. With that comes equipment, machinery, supplies, computer hardware, software, communication equipment, data networks and all other data storage. More details on the funding. According to Mullen, its acquisition of ELMS assets will be complete in the near future. That will pave the way for the company to strengthen its standing in the EV market. Also, the funding it acquires will support the engineering, preparation and launch of the company's vehicles. With today's news comes strong trading volume, with around 138 million shares changing hands as of this writing. That's closing in on Mullen Stock's daily average trading volume of about 147 million shares. Mullen Stock is up 4.1% as of Thursday morning. 5 Investors Betting Big on Mullen Stock both Vanguard and BlackRock up their Mullen stock positions during third quarter. Bollinger Motors CEO and founder Robert Bollinger is the largest shareholder of Mullen Automotive. As of the third quarter, 9713F filers reported owning a stake in the electric vehicle company. Mullen stock is down more than 90% year to date. Mullen Automotive stock is in the green this morning after the electric vehicle company announced that it had received $150 million from existing shareholders to be used in part to complete the acquisition of electric last mile solutions assets. Notably, the most important asset is the ELMS production facility in Indiana, which has the capacity to produce 50,000 EVs per year. The facility previously produced General Motors Hummer and helped contract manufacture Mercedes Benz as our class vehicle. Looking forward, the acquisition of the facility will help accelerate the release of the Bollinger Motors B1 and B2 trucks by 12 plus months, while production of the 5 crossover will also move to the facility. The overall acquisition of ELMS assets includes intellectual property, raw materials and unfinished inventory as well. Mullen CEO David Mitchery had the following to say about the new ELMS acquisition funding. We are excited to announce today that we have the funding in place to close on the ELMS asset acquisition. We expect to close quickly on the ELMS transaction. This will accelerate the market introduction of our cargo van program and provide us with critical manufacturing capacity at a much lower investment than previously expected to supply the rest of our product portfolio. Meanwhile, the deadline for institutional investors to file a quarterly 13F form has passed. Let's take a look at the largest shareholders of Mullen stock. 5 Investors Betting Big on Mullen Stock Tracking institutional ownership is important, as these large investors provide liquidity and support for stocks. During the third quarter, 9713F filers reported owning Mullen stock, an increase of 14 filers from the previous quarter. In total, these filers own 83.17 million shares of Mullen stock, up from 33.81 million shares during second quarter. Furthermore, the institutional put-to-call ratio sits at 0.44, down from 0.6. That's equivalent to 5.86 million puts and 13.38 million calls, implying a bullish option stance. With that in mind, let's take a look at Mullen's top shareholders. 
Note that this list only includes investors that filed a third quarter position update. For example, entrepreneur Taryn Pizer reportedly owns 29.63 million shares, but that figure is only accurate as of first quarter of 2022. 1. Robert Bollinger, CEO and founder of Bollinger Motors, 51.06 million shares. Bollinger received all 51.06 million shares during third quarter as party of a majority acquisition agreement. 2. BlackRock, 26.28 million shares. BlackRock purchased 18.41 million shares during third quarter. 3. Vanguard, 22.60 million shares. Vanguard purchased 9.88 million shares during third quarter. 4. Geode Capital Management, 6.38 million shares. Geode purchased 3.72 million shares during third quarter. 5. Cube Research and Technologies, 5.03 million shares. Cube purchased its entire stake in third quarter. Thanks for watching. Numerium Capital News. Please come back tomorrow for another stock news update. Thank you.